Hello students, this is Nilanjana Sanyal from My Math Friend Online and e -Parashna. Today in this session, we will be knowing how to solve quadratic equations by taking the help of the quadratic formula. Okay, we will not be deriving this quadratic formula in this session. We will be taking the quadratic formula directly. We will be knowing how to derive this quadratic formula from the general form of any quadratic equation in some other session. But today in this session, we will be solving this particular quadratic equation x square minus 11x equal to 12 by this quadratic formula. Okay. Now before starting with this question, let us first write the general form of any quadratic equation as well as the quadratic formula that we will be taking. So, what is the general form of any quadratic equation? Right, very good. It is ax square plus bx plus c equal to z. This is the general form of any quadratic equation. And the quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Okay. Since this is a quadratic equation, x will be having two values. The first value will be x equal to minus b plus under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. And the second value will be x equal to minus b minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay. Now coming to this question, to our question. We see that the equation is x square minus 11x equal to 12. So let us first of all write this. Let us start our answer. And let us write this equation that has been given to us. x square minus 11x equal to 12. Now when we compare this equation with the general form of the quadratic equation that we are having. It is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So all the non-zero terms are on the left hand side. Non-zero or zero, whatever will be the terms means the x square term, the x term and the constant term. All the three terms are on the left hand side or of the equal to sign. And the right hand side is having a simple zero. Okay. C is the constant term. Now coming to this equation. We see 12 is the constant term over here. And it is on the right hand side of the equal to sign. First of all, so we have to take this 12 to the left hand side. So that we get a simple 0 on the right hand side of the equal to sign. And if we take this 12 to the left hand side. Since it is a plus 12, its sign will get changed. And it will be a minus 12. So, we write this as x square minus 11x minus 12 equal to 0. Over here, by transposition, we have taken this 12 to this side by transposition method. We could have added a minus 12 to both sides of the equal to sign. If we add a minus 12 to both sides, we will be having x square minus 11x and minus 12 on the left hand side of the equal to sign. And on the right hand side, plus 12 and minus 12 will get cancelled and we will be, we'll be getting a simple 0. Okay. So now we are having this form of the quadratic equation x square minus 11x minus 12 equal to 0. And this is the general form of the quadratic equation. 
e x squared plus b x plus c equal to 0. e is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term. Okay. And in between signs are plus x. Okay. Now, coming to our equation, we are having, what is e? e is the coefficient of x square. So, what is the coefficient of x square over here? It is 1. So, e equal to 1. Now, what is b? It is plus bx and we are having a minus 11x. How do we relate these two terms? Let us first change these minus signs to plus signs because over here we are having two pluses. First of all, we have to have two pluses. The in-between signs should be plus signs. So let us do that. How do we do? We write this as x squared plus. We have to have a plus, so we write plus. And this is x. What should be in the bracket? It will be minus 11. Right? Because plus when multiplied by minus will be giving us a minus. Okay? So, it is x squared plus within brackets minus 11 times x. Again, we are having a plus sign. So, again, we write a plus. And what will be the constant term? That is c. Obviously, it will be a minus 12 because plus when multiplied by minus with minus will be giving us a minus sign. So, we have the equation as x squared plus within brackets minus 11 times x plus within brackets minus 12 equal to 0. Now, we can compare this equation, our equation with the general form of the quadratic equation that we have written over here. E is the coefficient of x squared. So, in our case, what is E? In our case, E equal to 1 because the coefficient of x squared is 1. Now, B is the coefficient of x. What is the coefficient of x? It is minus 11. So, we write b equal to minus 11. And what is c? The constant term? It is equal to minus 12. So, we are having c as minus 12. Now, we will be putting these three values in this quadratic formula to get the value of x. So, we do that. Therefore, x is equal to minus b. We write a minus and b is minus 11. So, we put minus 11 plus minus. We write plus minus under root minus 11. b is minus 11. So, it is minus 11 whole squared minus 4 times e is 1 times c is minus 12. Whole divided by 2 times e. e is 1, so it is 2 times 1. Okay? Now, this implies x is equal to now, minus when multiplied by another minus will be giving us a plus sign. So, it is a simple plus 11. Then, we are having a plus minus under root minus 11. Minus 11 whole square. That is minus 11 times minus 11. It is 121, right? So, it is 121. And 4 times 12 is 48 and minus and minus when multiplied together will be giving us a plus sign. So, it will be a 
plus 48 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 okay so we have x equal to 11 plus minus under root One twenty one plus forty eight gives us one sixty nine divided by two. Okay, and root of one sixty nine is what? Very good, excellent. Thirteen square is one sixty nine. So root of 169 is 13. Since we are having this plus minus outside, we do not say plus minus 13 because we are having this plus minus already present. So, we have x equal to 11 plus minus 13 divided by so, we will be having two values of x. First value, x is equal to 11 plus 13 by 2. And the second value is x equal to 11 minus 13 by 2 and coming to the first one 11 plus 13 is 24 so x is equal to 24 by 2 and in this case it is x equal to 11 minus 13 will be giving us a minus 2 that is minus 2 by 2 okay and this gives us the value of x as 12 because 24 divided by 2 will be giving us a 12 plus 12 and this gives us a value of minus 1 for x. So we are having two values of x. One is x equal to 12 and the other is x equal to minus 1. Okay. Now if we had been asked to solve this particular quadratic equation x squared minus 11x equal to 12, then our answer would have been x equal to 12 as well as x equal to minus 1. x equal to minus 1 comma 12 or vice versa, x equal to 12 comma minus 1. But we have been given two conditions. The first one says that x belongs to the set of n stands for natural numbers. So the first case is x belongs to the set of natural numbers and the second case is x belongs to the set of i stands for integers. Now we have been given two, two special cases and we have to give the answer for x or the value or values for x which fall under the set of natural numbers as well as under the set of integers. Okay. So, let us take up the first case, x belongs to the set of natural numbers. That is, natural number starts from 1 and extends up to positive infinity. That is, natural number set includes all positive numbers. Now, we are having two values of x. One is positive, that is x equal to plus 12 and the other is negative, that is x equal to minus 1. So, when x belongs to the set of natural numbers, we cannot include this value. We have to exclude this value of x. And we have to give the answer for x is as x equal to 1 or let us write this in some other color. Let us write the answer in some other color. This is the our answer for the first case. when 
x belongs to the set of natural numbers. Then x is equal to 12. We will be having a single value for x because x equal to minus 1, minus 1 doesn't fall under the set of natural numbers. Now coming to, to the second case, when x belongs to the set of integers. Now integers include both negative and positive numbers, so we will be having two values for x. So x is equal to minus 1 if we write the negative value first. x is either equal to minus 1 or x equal to plus 12. That is, we have a solution set for x that is minus 1, comma 12. This is the solution set. You do not have to give this set notation if you do not like. If, if you get confused, leave this part. This is the set notation. You just write when x equal to, when x belongs to the set of integers, the values for x is x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 12. Okay. But when x belongs to the set of natural numbers, x will be having a single value that is x equal to 12. But if you are not given these two special cases or any special case, you will be having two values for x that is x equal to 12 or x equal to minus 1. These are the two values for x and the answer for the quadratic equation. x square minus 11x equal to 12. But since we have give, been given two special cases, this is the first case when x belongs to the set of natural numbers and natural numbers do not include any negative numbers. So we exclude this value of x and we take this first value that is the positive value for x and x equal to 12. We have written this positive value for x. And when x equal to, when x belongs to the set of integers, then we are having two values for x. One is x equal to minus 1 and the other is x equal to 12. And if you want to use the set notation, you can give the solution set. This is the solution set of x. Solution set is equal to minus 1 comma 12. Okay. Now, let us highlight this result. Okay. Now coming to the checking part. So we will be doing the checking to see whether our answer is correct or not. We will be taking up the quadratic equation, the original quadratic equation that is x square minus 11x equal to 12. So first of all, let us write that. We will be taking the two cases, case A and case B. x square minus 11x equal to 12. For case A, you see. For case A, the value of x was equal to 12. So we put 12 for x in this case. And it is 12 squared minus 11 times 12 equal to 12. And we will be computing this part and we will be seeing whether this comes out to be equal to 12 or not. So 12 square is 144 and minus 11 times 12. 11 times 12 is 132 equal to 12. And 144 minus 132 is a 12. So we are having 12 equal to 12. Implying that the value of x as 12 satisfies this quadratic equation x square minus 11x equal to 12. Because over here we are having the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Okay. Coming to case B where x is equal to minus 1. Again let us write the quadratic equation that is x square minus 11x equal to 12. 
and next we will be putting the value as minus 1. So minus 1 whole square minus 11 times minus 1 equal to 12. Minus 1 whole square is obviously equal to a plus 1 and 11 times minus 1 is minus 11 when multiplied by this minus sign will be giving us a plus 11. So it is plus 11 equal to 12. And again 1 plus 11 gives us a 12 equal to 12. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side implying that minus 1 x equal to minus 1 satisfies this particular quadratic equation x square minus 11x equal to 12. So the two values that we have obtained for x, one is x equal to 12 and the other is x equal to minus 1, both are correct. Okay. So we have solved this particular quadratic equation x square minus 12, x, uh, sorry, minus 11x equal to 12 by using the quadratic formula and what is the quadratic formula it is x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a where b is the coefficient of x a is the coefficient of x square and c is the constant right so this brings us to the end of our session thank you for hearing